Hello my Wolfpack and welcome to a brand new video where I am going to talk about the three new Pokemon that were announced in the trailer that went up recently. I'm recording this the day of, but I don't know if I'm putting it out the day of, and I just wanted to talk about these different Pokemon, my predictions for what their stats are going to be looking like, and what we are expecting kind of them to potentially be able to do in terms of competitive. So we'll talk about each Pokemon. I think that there's going to be potentially evolutions for the next two, so I'll kind of predict that as well. So when it comes to, say, Titan, I don't know if this is going to have a pre-evolution. Definitely could see it having some kind of pre-form to it. Um, possibly something that looks quite similar to Whalmer. In fact, it could even be a side form of Whalmer. I think that would be really cool. Uh, we've got the Terra Whale Pokemon. It's an ice type and its abilities are Thick Fat slash Slush Rush. Now, this is a very, very heavy Pokemon, 1,500 pounds, which, you know, super, super heavy. 14.9 uh, foot tall, very tall. Um, but yeah, I think that this thing realistically is going to be very slow. <laughs> I think that is the, the fact of it. It's going to be a very slow Pokemon. I think it's going to have uh, less than base 50 speed, I think. Um, base 60 would be the absolute top tier amount that I could see this having. Um, I definitely see it in the range of kind of 20 to 40 speed. So I think this one is going to be very, very slow. But I think it's going to have a huge attack stat and I think it's going to have a pretty good HP and defense stat. I think its special attack stat will be next to zero. Um, it will be very, very low. But I think it will have an absolutely huge attack um, stat here. I also see it having its very own move. Um, I don't know, but just the fact that the spikes on it makes me think that it's going to have its own specialist move. Um, so yeah, so Titan, I think definitely is going to be a very slow Pokemon, but a very powerful Pokemon. I think it's going to work kind of somewhat similar to Guzzlord in a way, in the fact that it's quite slow, but quite um, hench, essentially. And yeah, if we have a look down at the information, we might be able to get more uh, force from so strong muscles and thick leather. So Titan needs to have tough muscles to be able to support their immense bodies and physical attacks using their bodies to have incredible power. They also mis <laughs> migrate around the snowy regions, protected by a thick layer of subcon subcutaneous fat. Uh, the horn in the upper jaw freezes the surroundings. So, um, horn on the... <laughs> on the upper jaw freezes, so as Tyson has five hard horns, among them, the horn on the upper jaw is able to gather ice energy, making the surrounding temperature extremely low and freezing the area around the Pokemon. That is actually really, really cool. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's really, really awesome. Um, yeah, I, lo I love that. I absolutely love that. I didn't read this beforehand, but I think, yeah, this thing is going to be slow, it's possibly going to have a side form or something that could be faster, maybe, I don't know, I know but I actually ignore that, I don't know if it will, but I think yeah, this thing's going to be slow. The way that I see this working, the best way that I can see this working, is running this in the trick room. I think this thing's going to be running the trick room a lot of the time using Fit Fat. And I think also, what is going to be run with this, it's going to be run in a lot of snow teams, because people are going to predict it to then have Slush Rush, possibly with like a scarf to make it super fast. But I think he's then going to run a Trick Room with Aurora Veil or something. So if a Lola Ninetales is accessible, obviously having a Lola Ninetales. Uh, something along the lines of even like Aurorus could work. Um, I can't think of the other Snow Warning. Uh, a Bomber Snow as well could possibly add into this. But yeah, I think we're going to see uh, this thing using a lot of Trick Room teams, especially in like VGC. Um, Potentially with Aurora Veil teams as well. I think this would work really, really nicely in terms of that. Now, looking at the next Pokemon, we've got Fido. Now, Fido, it looks like it will evolve. Uh, to me, it's going to be similar to Alcremie in some ways, or Alcrem, however you say it. But it's um, a puppy Pokemon. Its type is Fairy. It has the ability Own Tempo, so nothing hugely crazy about this thing. I think this thing definitely will work similar to a support Pokemon. Uh, I think it is going to have its own specialized move, looking at its text down here. So the Pokemon has a moist, smooth feeling to it. Fido's moist, moist, smooth skin has elastic qualities and is both firm and soft at the same time. 
When these Pokemon become excited, they intimidate their opponents by puffing up their bodies to appear bigger. So I think that this could potentially be um, some kind of intimidate sort of move where it lowers down the attack or possibly increases their attack and defense or something along those lines uh, by puffing themselves up. And I could see it even be called something like Puff Up. Um, yeah, who knows. And then the second uh, quote from it is, Breath contains useful yeast. Fido ferments things in its vicinity using the yeast in its breath. Said yeast is useful for cooking, so this Pokemon has been protected by people since long ago. So yeah, obviously if it produces uh, yeast in its breath, then obviously it's going to be useful for cooking. I could see that being used in some kind of specialist move, if I'm honest, um, having some kind of spe specialist breath move, whether it kind of combines with uh, another like food-based Pokemon. And we are seeing a lot of food-based Pokemon in here. We've got Smoliv, uh, you've got Sprigatito, which is to do with like a herb, um, Foy Coco, you're looking at like a pepper, uh, did I say Smoliv? I can't remember if I said Smoliv. Um, Obviously the Chomp and Quaxley, they're both common meats that we'll eat. And now we've got this as well. You know, there's, and obviously you've got the aspect of there being um, the orange and the grapes. It just is interesting to me that there's a lot of like food aspects to this. There's a lot of food stuff happening in this, this, this generation. But I can definitely see this thing evolving into something kind of like a uh, bigger sort of dog aspect. If you think, if, if you ever play Spyro, uh, in Lofty Castle, there's these dogs that turn from really nice puppy dogs to really, like, demon dogs. Uh, I could definitely see that being the case with Fido. It's going to evolve, probably with a very specific item, kind of similar to our creaming. And I could definitely see uh, that happening. But I could see this being uh, one of the most used Pokemon for, uh, in the terms of an overworld Pokemon in kind of towns and cities. I see a lot of people owning them. Um, to do their own kind of cooking and things. We can even get a bread Pokemon, f for what we know. <laughs> like, who knows? But yeah, I think this thing will evolve, and it will probably have quite a high attack stat. I think it will have a medium speed, uh, medium kind of speed stat. Um, or it could evolve into a very bulky Pokemon and could work as more of a support aspect, so like a lot of fairies do. I can see it having um, kind of like healing moves. I could see it having a lot of like support moves. I could see it having decorate, for example. Um, I could see it having um, stat lowering moves on the opponent's side. I could see this yeast attack being something that lowers or nullifies an ability or something like along those lines. But I definitely see this thing being more of a support Pokemon than an attacking Pokemon. But if it gets an evolution, it could either go to a defensive side and an offensive side. I could see it going either way with this thing. Or it could even end up with a split evolution where it has two evolutions uh, based on what item you give it, kind of like Applin. So, yeah, I guess we'll see with Fido, but I don't think this is the final form of it. If it is, definitely just going to be a support Pokemon. And moving on to Paldean Wooper. Now, whether this evolves into Paldean Quagsire or we get a new Quagsire, I don't know. But looking at this, uh, let's scroll down, you have got a Poison Fish Pokemon, it's Poison slash Ground, which is a really cool combination, I don't know if we have that yet, I feel like we don't have a Poison Ground Pokemon, uh, we might do though, and I might just be not thinking correctly, um, it has Poison Point and Water Absorb, both really good abilities actually, and I can see it evolving and probably maintaining like Water Absorb, maybe turning into Storm Drain or something, and then Poison Point to turn to Poison Touch or stay Poison Point. But yeah, I could definitely see those abilities maintaining. Uh, let's scroll down and look at what it says for Paldean Weeper. So they live on the land and cover themselves with a poisonous film. So in ancient times, Weeper lived underwater in the Paldea region. But it seems after losing its struggle, in a struggle for territory, they began living in bogs on land. To keep them from drying out while on land, they began to cover their bodies with a poisonous film. So I definitely think there's going to be something involved with this. I think there's going to be some kind of relationship with the Paldean Wooper and another Pokemon, similar to how there was with the Corsola and the Marini. I think that that could definitely take place here. It says, poisonous, oh, sorry, powerful poisonous liquid emits from their tough gills. So these Wooper's gills have hardened thanks to living on land for so long. Their bodies are heavy and they move slowly. So this is going to have a low speed stat realistically. But they can protect themselves by shooting powerful poison liquids from their gills. You'll 
you will see poison Pokemon in areas where these Wooper live. So that's really interesting. We might actually end up encountering Pokemon that are already poisoned from encountering these Weepers. That's what it suggests to me in reading this. So that would be really interesting if that was the case. Now, this also tell kind of suggests to me that it's going to get its own specialist move. Kind of like, I, I can see it getting Vicious Rend because of the mention of the gills, the hardened um, gills. I think Vicious Rend would make sense. And I think that it's evolved form it's, it's Quagsire, or whatever the new Quagsire will be. I think definitely that will have um, some aspects of this. In fact, I could even see it having some kind of um, other ability which involves um, them poisoning Pokemon, I think. Um, I could see that it being a new kind of... In fact, I could see it being Poison Touch. I could see it being Poison Touch. Or they're going to have a move which shoots out... Um, poison from their gills and has a 100% chance to poison. I can see that being a, a new move for this Pokemon as well. I definitely think it's going to be a very slow Pokemon, but I think it's going to be a very bulky Pokemon, uh, if I'm honest. I think um, it's going to have really good defenses, pretty good HP. Realistically, it'll probably maintain recover, um, and I think it's going to be a hugely good defensive Pokemon. Obviously, um, with Water Absorb as an ability, it would be absolutely fantastic with it because it removes one of its weaknesses, and it's very, very few weaknesses um, after that point. I think it just ends up with uh, Ground and Psychic as its weaknesses, but Water would be a, the main move that you probably would try and use on it, so having Water Absorb is going to be really fantastic for this thing. I don't see it being too offensive, but I can definitely see it being one of your defensive Pokemon and it's definitely going to be able to poison different Pokemon. I think that's going to be a really big aspect of um, Paldean Wooper slash its evolution, whatever it ends up being. But yeah, those are the three Pokemon. Those are just my thoughts on how they are going to look competitively, how they're going to look with their attacks or anything new and specific for them. Um, but yeah, those are just a few initial thoughts based on just looking at these entries and looking at kind of what they look like based on, on what I, I would expect from a competitive nature. But yeah, that's going to be all today, so I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of here, so have a good one, and I'll see you soon.